Hey guys, so I've got this package at work today, and this is one of the production Ticos that Tico said that they were going to send the early Ebert backers. So they said the first 200 backers. Uh, they got printers that the quality wasn't so great on. So I thought I'd do a second unboxing video. And this is going to be of a production Tico that everybody will be seeing. So the first review that I did was on a non-production Tico. And this one's on a production Tico. I'm going to do this video a bit different since I already did the unboxing of the original one. So I will cut, get some print footage and kind of work backwards with uh, print footage software and then the unboxing. Okay, so it's some issues with the other computer, so uh, we won't get the filament loading, but that's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to load the demo. And reprint the demo. So I'm just going to do this with the default settings. Okay. And I'm going to use the auto level feature. They said that the auto level or the auto calibration was supposed to be working a lot better. Calibration's pretty tall. I'm just gonna let it run, but it's pretty far off of the print bed, but it's putting out a lot of filament.
so unboxing. This is still the same carton where they say Tico on the inside of the carton. Okay, the uh, filament, same color as the last one, uh, desk and bag, vacuum seal, <coughs> vacuum sealed bag. A big difference <coughs> is that they have this blue tape across the top, and I don't remember that being on the, on the, uh, the original. they were having issues <clears throat> with this top popping off. So the build plate is held in by this blue tape and this clear plastic cover. They put a test print <clears throat> and included test print. There's there's quite a bit of stringing, but overall the test print still looks pretty solid. Build plate looks the exact same as the old one. They said that they redid it. But at first look, without comparing them, they look to be the exact same. Um, the Bowden tube. I, I was personally having issues with this when trying to feed filament, and it looks like they got rid of a lot of the slop. And... Um, the sticker fell off. They did re... They reworked the power cable, and so we'll see if that works out <clears throat> works out a bit better than the last one. For the most part, though, everything else looks the exact same as the other Tico.
see right down there they added one of those uh, locking washers the gripping ones to prevent the Bowden tube from pushing in <clears throat> so I'll uh, get this plugged in or actually power plug. It's a 12 volt DC at two and a half amps. And this is the exact same power plug as the last batch, or the original batch. Um, so this is new. Uh, this wasn't included in the last batch, at least not in this, in this form, with this envelope. Um, I'll scan these in for better readability, but um, it's the backer benefits. So first tips, want to pre-order future Tico products, use your backer ID to join the VIP line, VIP order ship first. Exclusive offers, use your backer ID to receive exclusive offers on Tico products. And then priority support, use your backer ID when contacting customer support. We'll put our backers first. And then there's just a thank you on the other side. And then this is regulations, do's, don'ts. <clears throat> so then the Tico quick start guide. And I'll, I'll scan this in and put screenshots. And we have this fancy shimmery paper, which is a message from Matt Kowski, the CEO of Tico. And, uh, it's basically saying that this is the production version of the Tico. Thanking the backers for the supports. Also uh, mentions the early bird backers since we were the ones that witnessed the assembly issues, software issues, hardware, a lot of hardware issues, and provided feedback back to Tico. And I'll scan this in as well. And that's that's pretty much it. it. I'll uh, thanks for watching.